We're back with the RV Rundown, and this is the 2023 Full House LX455 by DRV. doesn't get more residential than DRV and their full house toy hauler is like a small apartment with a garage that can be parked anywhere. It's an off-grid monster that's nicer than some apartments that I've been in in real life. I'm standing here inside of our combined living room kitchen space where we have opposing slides between our living room and our kitchen. Notice how tall they are. This being a full profile fifth wheel, there's plenty of room to move around. There's plenty of room to stretch. And me at six foot three, I don't feel claustrophobic at all. I love the way they put this massive couch that is recliners all the way right across from our entertainment center. This is a big, big entertainment center with a smart flat screen TV up high, JBL audio down low and a gray stone fireplace a big one a 47 incher at that this thing's going to spit out a lot of electric heat to help offset your gas cost the kitchen in this thing is not super small in my opinion as far as rv kitchens go we've got solid surface countertops real tile backsplashes a convection microwave oven up top so we can make biscuits there as well as in our big ol' insignia oven and four burner stove combo down low this thing's super cool in the sense that it's big enough where you could literally roast a thanksgiving turkey in it there's storage all the way around all of this and DRV does some really cool things with that. In addition to being real wood cabinetry with hidden hinges, soft clothes, drawers and doors, they do some neat stuff like put in appliance garages. Notice we've got a plug in the back back there, which means we can set up a coffee maker or a toaster or whatever else it is that you use on the regular. And when we're done with it, just slide it back in and hide it away without ever having to unplug it. It just cleans up and contains our mess. There's a pantry on the wall behind the TV that also hosts a few other cool things. It's got our subwoofer and our DVD player hiding back there. The island in our kitchen features this big dual basin stainless steel apron front sink, a high rise faucet that we can easily wash out all those pots and pans with. It moves around pretty good and the fact that I can lift it up just makes cleaning up that much easier. Our insignia full size residential refrigerator here is going to keep us stocked up and on the move for long periods of time. And DRV is carving out storage wherever they can. So even on this little bitty end of the slide that really didn't have much going on, they said, you know what, we can put some shelving in there and they did it. So that's just one more spot just to hide some extra stuff. I love that they're thinking of that. And all of the finishing touches in here are absolutely beautiful from the LED lighting up high to the lighting in the slide panels to little things like the real wood balances in our little living room here and MCD roller shades. So we've got both day and night shades here. I think that's awesome. Heading up onto the upper deck, we go through our bathroom. Now, separating this off from the main space, we have sliding doors. I love the fact that they're hidden and enclosed in there, but by putting it all the way across the main floor, it gives us tons and tons of space in here. A big shower, a nice sink to sit at and brush our teeth, and you know, it's got a medicine cabinet up high. There's just tons of room here. In the bathroom itself, the toilet is hidden behind its own door so that you can leave all of this open and still use the restroom. 
our bedroom has a king bed. And again, I'll mention this is full profile. At 6'3", I'm able to walk all the way to the front of the camper. And even if I did hit my head, this thing's got a padded ceiling on it. So that means it's not gonna hurt. And two, that helps with sound dampening as well. Speaking of sound dampening, this thing has three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls. That's super thick. If you wrap your hands around that at the entry door, you aren't gonna find hardly any other RVs on the market like it. So in addition to sound dampening, that's extra R value in your insulation, which is gonna keep this thing cold in the summertime and warm in the winter time. We've got drawers down low on our little slide that's across from our bed. By putting the vanity on a slide, it really opens up the foot of the bed in the bedroom, giving us room to get dressed in the morning. We have a slight small entertainment center in here by way of putting a flat screen TV. And our closet, this is really cool because our closet opens up and it is fully cedar lined. I love this. There's shelves on either side. We've got hanging racks up high. This thing is just extra nice all the way around. And notice on either side of the bed, we have windows so that we can open it up and get a cross breeze. There's that padded headboard back there and power as well as little nightstands with storage on either side of the bed as well. Now the bed lifts up and it gives us even more storage in the form of just a big trunk hiding under there. And that is strut assisted so that we don't have to struggle against it, getting it open and closed. Let's head back to the garage because that is something else that's really neat about this thing. Again, it's a super residential toy hauler. You have all of this really nice space. And then in the back, we have this 12 foot man cave of a garage. So they've done some really neat things in here by incorporating our aluminum cabinetry up high, a big insignia TV, and even a half bath in the back. So this is bath and a half. We've just got all the space that we could possibly use. Now, these garages could be used a few different ways. Some people haul toys. Some people make it a workout room. Some people make it an office. In some cases, because this has the Happy Jack bed system up high, this could be yet another bedroom or bunk room. This Happy Jack bed system is really common amongst RVs, especially toy haulers, I should say, because it can be two beds. It can be two couches down low. You could put a table in between them to give yourself dining options, or you could just let one bed down if you so chose. I think all of that's really neat. Not only that, but this thing has nearly a 4,200 pound load capacity. So you could easily have 2,000 pounds worth of stuff and 2,400 pounds left over just to load whatever toys you wanna to put into the garage. And there's massive tie down bolts for those toys in here. Now at the back of the garage, we have three season screen doors. So these have glass inserts as well as the mesh that's our bug screen there. So that's gonna kind of keep heat and cold in and out depending on what time of year it is. Now I wanna come back to this and show you guys how the patio works and the deck down and all of that good stuff. But the first thing I wanna do before we get into that is actually close up all of the slides so that we can see what's accessible with the slides closed. This is something I get asked to do a whole lot and I think a lot of people really appreciate it. Now, they put the control panel in this DRV right here off to the side, and everything in it is a physical switch. I love the fact that they've done it that way. It's very well labeled and organized, so it's really easy to use. Let's run those slides in. Okay, so with all of the slides in, we don't have access to a whole heck of a lot. We can get into part of our refrigerator. I can get into this main closet that's the washer dryer closet up front. I can definitely get to all of my bathroom. That's pretty easy to do. And because the garage has its own separate entrance, we can easily jump up in there as well. And there's a half bath back there too. So for quick pit stops, easy access to the bathroom, and 
the sink and a little bit of your kitchen type stuff. But this is really a destination trailer. So let's open it back up. Let's check out that garage a little more in depth in the patio and check out some of the outside features. To access our garage from the outside of the RV, we have a zero G ramp door that also serves as a patio. It has a 12 volt keyed lock to undo it, or there's an emergency release this inside. It goes up and down super easy. It really doesn't take much at all just to lift or maneuver this thing around. There's the cable system here that allows it to be in that patio mode. We've even got swing out guardrails for the sides. There's an awning up high that's by Thule that's gonna cover up our back patio and keep the sun off of us. There's even a set of stairs that lead up to the patio that are attached to the wall inside the garage. They put load lights up high so that if we're bringing in toys at night, that's not gonna be a problem. And to get this thing down into ramp mode to where we can load toys into the vehicle, all we have to do is detach the cables from our patio and it'll drop right down to the ground. There's little rubber bumpers on the back side of the garage door to keep it from completely impacting the ground whenever you're driving something up onto it. Now, that's not the only features that are outside of the DRV. Heading up the patio side, we'll notice that we have Sony marine grade speakers. We've got storage carved into it wherever we possibly can. So even into the side skirts where you can see that famous triple stack 15 inch box tube frame that the DRV runs on. Everything slam latches and insulated baggage doors. This sits up on six points of hydraulic auto level. Our doors have keyless entry. And notice this thing is full body paint. It just screams luxury across the board. On this side of the RV, we have three awnings. They're all electric, they all run out at the touch of a button, and they all have the AlumaGuard cover on them just to protect that fabric while you're running down the road. Everything out here is LED lit. There's scare lights above our door. We've got a spot over here where we've got power out. So if you wanted to bring a TV outside or just hook something up out here that you needed power for, you've got that as an option. At the very front, we have our pass through storage, which is pretty spacious for a toy hauler of this size. Usually we don't see quite this much. And DRV does something really cool in that they put in these sliding doors here that we can open up and gain access to our compartment inside in case we need to diagnose anything. As you can see with that sliding door open, I can see our tanks, I can see our heater, I can see a bunch of componentry that otherwise we would have to drop the underbelly to get to. The vanity slide from the bedroom, it only sticks out a little bit. It doesn't have to go far because it's only hosting that dresser, but you'll notice that it hosts those frameless windows that we see running down the side. I just love how clean those look. Again, scare lights on all the corners, that big famous DRV full house front cap with the LED lights on it. This thing's just gorgeous and is going to look great behind a big old dually running down the road. We've got the more ride pin box up here, which has escutcheon plates in two directions to really help eliminate the chucking, especially with such a heavy, heavy RV. On the driver's side, we got a few things going on, but before I get there, I wanna open this up and show you guys what's happening down low. So we've got a massive four banks of batteries, a huge inverter, and an Onan quiet gas generator, a 5,500 evaporative generator. That's gonna be enough to power up the entire unit. And thanks to that giant inverter and the four banks batteries there, we're gonna have power even on our 12 volt systems for all sorts of great stuff. Again, slam latches, insulated doors all the way around. Our touch panel for the level up is kind of neat. So we have it going two ways. They've installed this little panel on the outside here for quick hitching up to the truck. 
uh, it's just going to allow you, you can auto level it from right here, but it allows you to run up and down on the hitch with ease. Inside the other side of our pass-through storage though, we have the main touch panel for the level system. This is going to allow us to get more in depth, make any adjustments we need to make, as well as going in and like doing any manual changes to how it's leveled. We also have access to our water manifold system over here, which is kind of cool. DRV makes it to where each of the water points in the RV has a 90 degree shut off. So if there really ever is a problem, we can shut it off at the source. Pretty neat. Our main wet bay here has an outside shower slash spray off port. All of our tank poles are right here and you can stay off grid a long time. This has a 100 gallon fresh tank, a 75 gallon gray and a 100, 100 gallon black tank as well. This does because it has bath and a half and a bathroom on the upper deck. We do have sewage out in more than one place. You can see down low we have the exhaust for our generator right next to one of our dumps for the forward tanks of the bathroom. And they've done some other cool stuff too, like giving us access to the backside of the refrigerator so that if we need to get to that water line to either winterize or make any changes or repairs, we have the ability to do so. Moving on back, we've got a couple of other cool things going on. We saw that this has a generator up front. Now, because this is a toy hauler, we have two gas tanks on board that we can fill up with unleaded fuel. One here, one here. There's even a pump station. So down low, if we pull this guy out, we can fill up our, and it's all covered in plastic right now, but you can see that we have a gas tank filler there. That's pretty nice as far as our pump goes. So that means we can fill up our toys when we're off grid or because one of these is going to go to the generator and it's labeled, this is our generator tank, this is our fuel dispensing tank. We could technically pump from our fuel dispensing tank into our generator tank. How cool is that? So you could just have extra gas for your generator to stay off the grid a little bit longer. Down below that, we'll see the second dump station for our sewage. And in the back back here, they've carved in both a little bit more storage and a spot where we have our power cord reel. This is a big old 50 amp power cord. It's big and heavy. By putting it on a power reel, it just makes it really easy to take it in or let it out. I like that. And because this is a toy hauler, they had to put the ladder to the side because of the back door that goes down. This simply unpins, folds out, and gives you access to that fully walkable roof up there. If you're looking to go full time in a toy hauler, I highly recommend checking out the Full House line by DRV. These things are awesome. Everything about them from the full body paint to the residential stylings to little details like cedar lined closets inside. Just make it feel like a really polished high end apartment for traveling. I love this thing and I think it's totally worth seeing for yourself in person. So come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia and see it for yourself or visit us online at southernrv.com. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. We're putting out new stuff weekly. And until next time guys, happy camping.